Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. So I'm going to show you how to write a number in standard form if it asks you to round it off to three significant figures. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example. So we've got a write in standard form to three significant figures. So first of all, you need to round the number to three significant figures. So that is three numbers from the start of the number. So if we go one, two, three... So we've got two choices of what it'll be. It'll either be 712 or we round it up to 713. So the number after the line is 5, so we round it up to 713. And we need to keep the size of the number by filling in zeros up to the decimal point. So we can now write this number that we have here in standard form. So to do this, make the first digit of our number between 1 and 10, so it's 7.13. So we put in the decimal point here. The decimal point was at the end, so if we figure out how many times we need to multiply it by 10 to give us the original number. So if we just count the jumps between the decimals, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's have a look at part B. So again, we've got to do the same thing. So write in standard form to three significant figures. So again, if we count three numbers from the start, one, two, three. So this would round to 126 because the next number is a one. So if you're filling zeros up to the decimal point, so we can now write this number in standard form. So we make the first number between 1 and 10 by putting the decimal points here. So how many times do we have to multiply it by 10? So if we just count the number of jumps between the two decimals, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is the final answer. So let's move on to part C. So this time we've got a small number, so we ignore these zeros at the start as significant figures. So our first one would be the 1, the second one would be the 2, and the third one would be the 8. So this one would round down to 0 0.00128 because the next number is a 4. So again, we just need to write this in standard form now. So we put our decimal point in here. So it's 1.28. And we have the times 10. So if we count the number of jumps between the two decimals, so it's 1, 2, 3. But you need to add a negative power because it is a small number. So let's do part D. So again... Count three significant figures in, so one, two, three. So this time it'll round up to 0 0.0000148. So again, we just need to write that in standard form. So we make our first digit between 1 and 10. So we're going to put our decimal point here, so it's 1.48. So again, if we count the jumps between the two decimals, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it would be minus 5 again because we have a small number. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.